Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to education, uh, information, inspiration, uh, to uh, Noahides, um, converts to Judaism, and to returnees to Judaism, the Bali Shuvah. And um, this week, my eyes fell upon a particular verse in the book of Amos, uh, verse 913. Behold, days are coming when the plower will encounter the reaper. Um, this, if anyone knows anything about farming, this never happens. Um, the plower preparing the ground in the spring for to be planted and seeded, and that is months and months and months away from the reaper, who is, of course, comes at harvest time in the late summer, early fall. The two never meet. And yet here we have the prophet Amos, saying days are coming when the plower will encounter the reaper. What's he talking about? What he's making reference is that there will come a time in the future, the messianic time, when food will be so bountiful that they haven't even finished harvesting yet, when already they're, they're uh, preparing the ground and planting, planting for next year. The Dubner Magid uh, explains this uh, in a certain way, this verse in a certain way. He says, imagine a, a city dweller. Guy has never left an urban setting his entire life. For the first time, he goes to the country. And he sees people plowing, digging up the ground. Just digging it up. Plows, shovels, tractors. He then sees farmers throwing what appears to be perfectly good food, corn, beans, small plants, throwing them away into the ground. And he says, why is this person throwing perfectly good food away? This doesn't make sense to him. If he were to come back in the fullness of time, in harvest time, he will see rows of corn, beans, all sorts of uh, fruits and vegetables. The Dubra Maga explains that so too in life, <coughs> excuse me, so too in life, things that appear nonsensical, uh, the suffering of people, why tzaddikim, why righteous people suffer, why the good go through such hard times, uh, they seem inexplicable. But there will come a time in the fullness of time when we will see that what appears uh, odd and strange to us in the beginning will then make sense. We will see the harvest. We will see the fruits that come of this. And um, that all is according to God's plan. All is for a reason. And uh, this is a, a source of hope. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them inspirational. And uh, until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.